need to understand what it means. First of all, this is the icon, meaning it's the this is the icon, meaning it's the tool, and that icon over there indicates it's the switch. So we need to know what those icons mean. So as we begin to use the tool, it makes sense. Let's use our clickers. Let's use brain now. See, Mr. V, Mr. Florimon, see right now they're all anonymous. We don't know who is doing it. But see, they don't realize that I can build a roster with each one of their little names so that when they click, we see who was, see, see we're going to put some pressure on this thing. Right now, it's, it's, it's fun. All right, let's see how they did. Oh, pretty good. All right, who was right? Let's see who was right. All right, good job, good job. I think I am trying to think if I stopped here. Let's go ahead and pause this one, Mr. Florman, and let these gentlemen out. One on each side floating around, so if you will... Uh, put them in your hands and, and just slowly look at them. Some of you have got a chance to look at them, but I want us to get right back into this and get going. I've already had Mr. Florimond's uh, young men in here, and so we, we, they've caught up to where you are, so let's, let's go ahead and get started. Everybody have a clicker. Cool. The display is very, very important. As you look at both the net tool that we use in the past, some of you have had some experience with it, as well as this one, it is crucial that you understand these icons in the display. A couple things you want to hear right away is that uh, this shows you link speed between the, the speed between the PC and the tool, and the tool and the switch. Uh, whatever is underlined is the the indicated speed. So it may show 10, 100 gig, whatever is underlined is the actual speed. Uh, another very important thing that you get with no other tool that I know is the pulse of the Ethernet packet. Uh, this is crucial. Uh, we find this one of the most helpful visual tools in troubleshooting. When I plug this into an outlet and I see this pulse is low, that is going to tell me that there, there's a real good possibility that I'm going to have network connectivity issues because the voltage level of the Ethernet packet is too low. This also shows me transmit and receive pairs, the wires that I'm using to transmit and receive. So I'm transmitting on one and two, I'm receiving on uh, wires three and four. So these are all very, very important um, display items in your, your thing. Um, full duplex and half duplex. So as I look at my display, I need to recognize is this connection full duplex or half duplex? Okay? So the icons are going to be showing that by either one of these two icons. Rarely are you going to see negative reverse polarity, but you really want to watch out for this because this is common on our network common. We see this problem all the time. Uh, a user complaining of slow network access or a user complaining of intermittent access and when we look at the level of the Ethernet that's getting to that workstation it's extremely low which is going to cause all kinds of problems. So watch for that. That's a real um, great problem solver. Okay, let's use our clickers. Are we good? Okay. So that 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 uh, blue lines are pointing to the the link speed, the link speed on the device. Let's do it. Clickers.
Some of you had a rough Monday. <laughs> okay. When you forget that quick, you have to be my age. Most of you are not there. All right, how do we connect the tool? There's two ways to connect the tool. It's called inline or single-ended. Uh, typically, you see here a picture of, of it being inline. Notice you have network cables on both jacks. You have a jack on this side and on. So this tool is now inline between the network outlet and an IP phone. Uh, we can use it either way. The tool can be used inline or single-ended. Here are, here are some examples of a, a, a single, in, uh, this is in line. Um, so I've got the, the tool in between the IP phone and the switch. Here's a, an example of uh, in line where I'm between the IP phone and a computer. So there's, there, there, there you saw a couple of examples of it in line. Here's an example of single ended. I'm plugged directly into the switch. For example, if I took the tool and popped into one of these outlet right here, that would represent exactly what I'm showing here. I'm plugged right into the switch. I can also take this and plug it right into a network card on a PC. So I can use it single-ended or in line. And you can see by the menu here, I am definitely what? Single-ended. You see two icons and that's it. So I'm single-ended. There are a couple diagnostic tools. Uh, supposedly, Fluke is promoting the product as, uh, do you have a problem with your network? Uh, use your navigation buttons, bring it down to the NetProve ca uh, category hit the select key and stand back and watch. Now, how well that really, really works, we haven't tested that one yet. But according to Fluke, it's going to go out and find your domain controllers, your DNS servers, your routers, uh, exchange servers if you had them, and identify them and determine what the problem is. So we, we, this is yet to be proven, but this is great sales literature, okay? But that's what that's for, net proof. Uh, you can go ahead and look at diagnostics. NetProve has additional diagnostics, and you can even create categories. So you can create a category of t key devices, such as your router, your DNS control, your domain controller, uh, your Win server, and you can actually um, build, you can test things based by categories. You can also upload information up to your desktop and download information from your desktop to the tool. You can identify devices by IP or d DNS name. For example, a lot of times when I am trying to determine does a machine, a machine is not acting correctly on the network. So I can use the NetProve to ping the router. Does it see the router? Yes. Um, does, it see, uh, does it see the server that is attempting to run the application off of? Yes or no. So I can do those types of tests with this tool. You can select a device for response information. For example, you can do a trace, and you can see, is, is it losing? Am I dropping packets through a switch? Am I dropping packets through a router? Is there a reason why I can't see the device? You can print and save reports. This is inline testing. This is an example of inline testing. We can do up to one gigabit of speed testing. And you'll notice a display. You can actually see the one gig. Here you can actually see the white light is lit. The one gig is underlined. So we're actually doing a one gig inline uh, test right here. Cool. Uh, in the last presentation I did, we, we were talking about we're, we're submitting the, the PO for the network upgrade. That network upgrade has been submitted. We will be seeing uh, right now our biggest trouble is finding the right power and plug for a 6,000 VA UPS that has to be installed in the MDF. So this Friday we're going to have an engineer come in and he's going to look at the MDF 
because the plug and the electrical circuit that we have now will not work with that 6,000 VA UPS that has to work for that new equipment and gear. So once that is established, um, you're going to actually use this tool on a real one gig circuit. That will be cool. All of you will have 100 megabits to your desktop. Cool? Yeah, it is cool. Now you can drill down with a menu using the select keys. You can, you can see by using the select keys, you can go and move the icon up or down. In other words, by using the navigation buttons, you can move this highlighted up and down. If you want to look at key devices, then you hit select, and that's how you use the tool. It's pretty easy to use once you get your hands on it. All of you will actually have a lab that will require you to use it. So there's the switch. You need to know those icons, the tool, and the PC. As you, as you move the highlight, you can actually move the navigation buttons and move the highlight to the, the tool. You can move the highlight to the PC, and that gives you a whole new series of menu options. For example, I really want to look at the switch to see what's wrong with the switch. So I would move with the navigation, I would move the highlight over to the switch and then hit select and I get a whole bunch of menus that tell me more about the switch. This is something that our network tool did not do. So here you see that I've selected the switch and you can see that I am looking at a gigabit connection. I am looking at a 2950 Cisco switch. Uh, there is the actual model number, uh, and I even can tell you what VLAN that I'm on. So this is a much more powerful tool than we had in the past. Let me show you a quick demo of, of um, I'm going to drop out of this. This should be interesting because I've got a extended desktop. Hold on here just a second. Um, I've got to figure out how to get that over there to you. This is the actual menu, what it really looks like. For example, if I go select the PC, these are the menus that you get a choice of. So I push my navigation, come over here and select the PC, hit the select button. I can look at link. I can look at the, the actual speed, how many pairs, the voltage level, uh, polarity, full duplex, half duplex. I can then go down further and look at how many frames, how many packets, how many jabbers, anything I want to know about that PC. And I can just go on and on and on. If I select the switch, I can look at more about the actual physical connection to the switch. Then I can look at the switch itself. How many packets, how many broadcasts, how many multicasts. Then I can actually go down further into the switch and even pull more information about the, the switch itself. And notice, I'm never left where I'm at. I'm using the switch to do the integration of all the devices. I can also connect, select the tool, and dig further down into settings and, and, and options and things of that nature. I can. So it's very powerful, a lot more menus, a lot more options in this tool than we had in the past. I don't want to belabor that because your, really, your use of that will really happen when we actually get going. Give me a second to get caught up here. Look at key devices on the network. You can log and then dump it to your desktop and print. Let's hit keys.
Are we ready? <laughs> Mr. Florimon, what can I say? Now, here's a really cool feature of the net tool. Obviously, this is a sophisticated piece of equipment that allows us to look at switches, uh, allows us to look at PCs, and, and, and really do some phenomenal stuff. But very often, what we need is basic tools also. So what if I want to test the cable between the PC and the, the client? I, I, I don't need a real sophisticated device. I just need to test the cable. Is the cable good? Or is the cable good from this outlet all the way through the the roof and through the cable harness and back into the the closet is that cable good this tool will also do that so not only will do network and, and switch analysis and PC analysis and traffic analysis but it'll do just the basic stuff that we often need in our hands so let's take a look very cool it can be used to check out long runs of cable It can ring out cables to test is the cable good or bad throughout the, the long run back to the IDF or MDF, and those are the closets where our network gear is. We can set up the tool to, to use as a powerful um, uh, ringing tool, ring out the wire. It also can be used as a simple cable test. So I can pop in a cable on this side, pop in the other cable on this side, and actually will show me how the cable is wired. Isn't that cool? So just very, very handy. Just one tool, cable tester, uh, will allow me to test the, the runs of cables that I'm testing, test the PC, the NIC, the wire, everything. You can also add a termination, so it will allow you to test the cable over long distances. And it will tell you if a wire is open, where it's opened at, how long the cable is. So it's a great tool. So with one tool, you can pretty much do what you want to do. You can even test cable length. How long is the cable? For example, uh, if you're testing a real bad connectivity issue, let's say a laptop, and uh, you're doing your investigation and you're, you're, you're realizing that the network closet is a long way away, and you're wondering, I wonder if some cable guy ran more than 90 meters. 90 meters is max. 90 meters is max. But the cable guy said, you know what, I've got to run one more outlet way over here. Let me just keep on going. They'll never know. Well, now the client connected to that outlet box, which is now run way beyond 90 meters, which is the cat five limitation, no more than 90 meters. Now it's, you know, 150 meters now this client is acting up and going crazy and you test the wire and you realize your cable's way too long. It's invalid. Are we good? Mr. Florimon, based on this answer, we'll, we'll see whether we're going to get one of these for Christmas presents or not. What do you think? Do you think? Okay, who was right? When you use these, they, uh, if, if, I, if I was a desktop support person, this would pay for itself easily the first year. Just in save trips and times you waste, because you can do everything. When you walk up to that desktop, you can troubleshoot just about everything. Cable, network connectivity, the switch, their NIC, everything. You can see, is, it, is, is there a problem? Everything can be troubleshoot with this one device. Um, one of my students got hired at the city of Orlando and uh, he had been he'd been exposed to the older tool which was called the net tool. You saw it in the first picture. 
um, he, he worked for, the, he worked for Orlando, the city of Orlando for about a year and he came back to me and he said, he said, I have convinced my supervisor because they, IT people are aware that these tools are out there, but they usually say they're just too expensive. He talked to his supervisor and said, he said, if we have this tool, the, the 10 techs that were out there, he said, if we could get one of these tools, he said, I am convinced we're going to save so much money over the long haul when we purchase these that it, the return on investment will be within a year on every tool that we purchase. And he convinced the supervisor to buy one or two to test and he was able to get one of them. And he came back and said, they, within a month, they bought every one of them. It was saving so much time. It was saving them so much time and they were able to resolve problems right then the first time so often that they went and purchased every single tech one of those.